big pressure on him. And he scores! Come on! Oh, he's kicking off over the other side. City playing, oh my days. City playing down, fireworks going off here. We're in Belgrade as Manchester City travel to the Serbian capital to take on the Serbian champions, Red Star, in the Champions League. A win for City tonight would mean going perfect in a Champions League group stage for the first time in club history. And as well, it's one of my personal bucket list things to see City win away at Red Star Belgrade. Can the Blue Boys do it? Red Star are a very tough team to play against, as we found out at the Etihad, but going to Belgrade is different gravy. So if you are enjoying the adventures, make sure to leave a like and hit that big red subscribe button. But who that. will take the Champions League victory tonight? Will it be City and go perfect, or will it be Belgrade and potentially go to the Europa League? It's time to find out. Well, good morning. It's 5am and we're here. We're at Luton Airport Parkway Station to begin the journey to somewhere that I've never been before. Belgrade in Serbia. And I am absolutely buzzing, even though I am knackered. We started the journey at 2 o'clock. I drove through the night and straight down here to Luton uh, for a 6 o'clock flight to Belgrade. So I've only got an hour uh, to get to the airport. But yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing uh, to take on Red Star Belgrade. It's a game that I've definitely had on my bucket list for a long, long time. I just want to go in that tunnel. I just, I just want to experience it. The hostility of being away at Red Star Belgrade. Anyway, I think since the last time I've been here, right, the loot and dart has been built and ready to go. It's just, is, is there one? Right, we just need to find out. And also, how the hell do I get a ticket? Because it's 5 a.m. and the barriers are actually shut, which I'm quite surprised about. Anyway, the journey starts here and we are heading to Belgrade, a city take on Red Star. Um, I'm very confident going into the game. I honestly think we can get a result here, but knowing City, we're already through. We won't really care and they'll be up for it because they want to be the champions of Europe and it's just a, a game written in the stars for them. But anyway, let's head to the airport and start our journey to Belgrade, Serbia. Well, we breeze through security and I never understand why people get to airports two and a half, three hours before their flight. Literally, I'm here 40 minutes before and I'm heading straight to the gate. That's how to do it. Extra leg room C, time to take off. We've made it, we're here, we're in Serbia. I've never been here before and it looks, it looks cool. Well, we've made it to Serbia. We are here in Belgrade at the famous fort. And honestly, I'm loving Serbia so far. My hotel is literally right in the middle of the city centre, meaning I could just literally walk out. And there's about three bars right there. And there's already city fans in them. But I want to do a little bit of exploring first. So I've got to show you a little bit of a montage of my brief time before the game. Because obviously, it is match day today. I've still not slept. I haven't slept. Literally, I got two hours on the plane. That's all the kip I'm running on. So I've got to sleep well after the match tonight. It is a quarter to seven kickoff here. So it is an early one. So I can get an early night and it's not a silly late one because we are going to be held back after. But yeah, here's a montage of Belgrade of me just having an explore and then we'll get to the game, which I know you guys are waiting for. Come on, City. Ladies and gentlemen, it is match day. Red Star Belgrade take on Manchester City. We are ready to start heading to the stadium. Now, I've got an emergency text from City at about 2 o'clock saying that we need to start heading to the stadium at about half past 3, getting there at 4 o'clock. Now, kickoff is nearly quarter to 7 local time. So why on earth would we get to the stadium nearly two hours, three hours early? In terms of the game, I think Red Star uh, will give us a really good game. They want to beat the champions of Europe. Obviously, not really a lot to play for for both teams unless Red Star can pull off literally the biggest miracle on the planet. Uh, but I still don't, I'm not sure whether head-to-head -head comes before goal difference. I always think goal difference comes before because that's what I'm used to. It's time to head to the game. I'm going tonight with a sitter 2-1 win. A creepy 2-1 win away at Red Star. And that'd be a great win. This is a bucket list ground for me. So hopefully we can get a result. Right, it's time to head. We finally found the away end after having a walk. And we ended up in the ultra section of the Red Star Belgrade fans. Oh my God, that was a bit intense. Anyway, get to Red Star. We walk around and now we're in this like cage paddle. There's the uh, castle. There's the fence. And uh, yeah, no one can come and get us because there's about 100 cups. Um, but... 
I don't feel under threat tonight. Obviously, a lot of people say that Red Star Belgrade fans are absolutely crazy. I can't wait to see what atmosphere they produce. And the atmosphere is very hostile here, the way that you are treated as an away fan. But, I'll tell you what, I'm very safe. I'm happy with that. Let's get inside. Cool City. Oh my days, look at this. This is madness. We've never seen so many police here. Oh my days. We're in, we are caged in like little rats, but it's Europe away here in Red Star Belgrade. Can we win? Oh my God, it is crazy getting in here. Literally one minute you're in the home end, next minute you're in the away end. You have to go all the way to the main road to come back on yourself. We were in the ultra section at one point, very unorganized, but we finally found a way into the city and a bit of familiarity, a bit of the native uh, language being spoken here. Unbelievable. I love the stadium already. I'm just hoping that we can get a win here. Come on, sit in. Here come the teams into an incredible yeah. arena which will be created atmosphere from behind that goal. They have a mixed reception for the Champions League and for, for both teams, to be honest. So here we go then, it is Red Star versus City. I mean, can we go perfect? I mean, the team isn't as strong as I would have liked it to have been. But at the end of the day, we're already through. We're already top of the group. Let's get behind the boys, no matter what. City. Oh, Red Star kick us off here. The early kick off of the Champions League. Come on, boys. The City have started strongly. A lot of high energy into the game so far. And here we go. We're in here. Oscar Bob pulls it back. Chance. Good. Oh, he's, got, he's got backwards. He's getting a shot away, man. It's a good chance that from City. Nice work on the right hand side. I'm going to have to put my head in the way of this look like. Otherwise, the light is going to be poor. Good chance that from City. But yeah, high energy to start the game. It's been positive, especially in midfield. Nunes and Kovacic playing together. I'm excited to see how that dynamic duo works. I in this City formation, but there's no striker. Looking good, especially on the right hand side. Here is Oscar Bob trying to exchange passes, but all the noise coming from over there. I tell you what, they are a bunch of loud asses, aren't they? Well, this will be a real blow if Jack Grealish goes off the pitch injured. Phil Foden has been sent out to warm up. Pep Guardiola, like I said before, has just uh, called in uh, the troops just to get them going again. I think we've been playing some good football, showing that high energy in that midfield with Phillips, Kovacic and Nunes. All three of them have got points to prove to try and break into this first team. Oscar Bob's looked lively. Grealish has looked decent. He had a chance to shoot a couple of minutes ago. Um, he may have pulled up in that incident. I'm not too sure. Well, Jack Grealish is back on, which is great news for Sitter. Hopefully he can shake off a little bit of an injury that he picked up from Red Star Belgrade. And they might get in on the attack here. Good goalkeeping from Ortega. They are creating one hell of an atmosphere. They're up for this, even whether they're in Europe or out of Europe at the end of the 90 minutes. This way with the City, coming on the right. Yes! What a finish! City, City, City! It's a debut goal for Hamilton. My guy! And what a wonderful goal it was. It was brilliant work on the right-hand side, and Hamilton absolutely blasted that into the back of the net. It's mad that you can hear the Belgrade fans more than you can hear our celebrations. That's how mad their ultra section is, all behind the goal. I mean, what a finish from Hamilton, deeply bold for him, I'm sure that'll do his confidence the world of good. Well, there was a quick VAR check, but the VAR check was negative. 1-0 City, get in Hamilton. Star has just had a massive chance, the flag's gone up anyway, but the ultras are, are singing and dancing like they've scored. Well, it's positive for City. We just need to watch the fact that Red Star Belgrade are very, very quick in the forward areas and hitting that, over hitting that pass uh, when they have got a chance to be able to get a couple of men through the middle of City. We're dominating in that midfield. Oscar Bob looks a little bit lost up front, but Hamilton is having a great game on that right hand side. Grealish needs to sort things out. For Nunes, he's had his best game in a City shirt. He goes over to Hamilton again. What a ball that is! Oh, just he's slid in from Oscar Bob. Jack Grealish does so well to keep it in though. He's going backwards. Kovacic laid off, Phillips just could not get anything behind it. It's a good chance for City, I tell you what, Mateo Nunes has had his best game in, well, I know we're in our way kit tonight, but in the City jersey, cut open that Red Star Belgrade defence, hit it over to Hamilton, that's a great ball across and it's inches away from Oscar Bob tapping it in. Would Haaland have been there? Probably. I mean, I really like Oscar Bob, but Hamilton's moving into that wide right position and that means Oscar Bob has to go up front and usually Oscar Bob will be in that wide position. I'll tell you what, City causing problems in that final third. We just need to shore it up on the back at the moment. Obviously John Stones has had an injury coming back. They look a bit dangerous. A second goal's coming and that should wrap this game up. That is half time. A great first half in my opinion from Manchester City. I think we've been absolutely fantastic. Let's get into a half time review. 1-0 at the break. Just before I do my half time segment, I've noticed that's our flag over there. That's a city badge with the treble and it's been hung upside down. 
Aston robbed by the Belgrade fans. How did they get hold of that? We're well, half-time here at the Ryko Mitic Stadium and it is City 1, Red Star Belgrade 0. And I tell you what, I've been really impressed considering that Calvin Phillips, Kovacic and Matea Nunes has not had a lot of game time for City this year. They've been brilliant for all three of them. And Nunes has run that midfield absolutely superbly. It was ultimately his drag forward that created the chance for Mick Hamilton to bang it in at the near post and give City the lead here in Belgrade in a very hostile atmosphere. I've just noticed that's flag. That is just madness. Um, yeah, I think Belgrade had a really, really good chance. Bakari, Bakari's making some really good runs in behind, but we've got to watch that. But the balls were a little bit over here and we're able to intercept them. So we've just got to watch that and make sure that we grab a second goal. Calvin Phillips had, a, had an effort on the edge of the area uh, that was smashed over the bar. We've had our chances. Jack Grealish has, has had a pretty poor game, to be honest. Uh, Phil Foden's been warming up the whole of the first half. Maybe get him on, get him some minutes. But you don't want to take Grealish off when his confidence is a little bit low. Anyway, let's jump into the second half. Hopefully, we can go perfect in the Champions League group stage for the first time ever. Let's hold on. I bet most of them, especially in that ultra section, weren't even born. And football wasn't just about money. World Champion 91. Well, Champions League wasn't as good in 91 as it is now. Standard of football has vastly improved. So, Champions of Europe, we know what we are. What a chance for City, and it's Hamilton again. Cuts in from the left this time on his right foot, and he finessed it brilliantly, and it just squirmed just inches wide. That could have gone in on another day and been his second goal. To City, let's go, Bob. City looking for the second goal. Let's start trying to put off with the. Oh! <laughs> Imagine he's got some confidence in this today. But this stadium has just woken up. Two breaks out from Ortega. One was a cross in, and it was a reaction. This from Ortega just stuck his arm out because the ball was coming at a sub pace. But the second was a long shot in which it was a dramatic save. It's a save that it should be making, but it's a good save nevertheless. And it's woken this stadium up. Two good chances for Red Star. City have just got away with another one. It was Paul from Kovacic caught on the ball, allegedly fouled. Sparks off the ball and Red Star Belgrade were definitely going to score. It was three on the goalkeeper because of where they won it back in terms of the court city off guard. I mean, Red Star making two substitutions now. I mean, it's hard to play for. We've got space. They've got, they've got chances in them. It's going to be a good end to this game. In from Oscar. Fantastic from Oscar. Bob, oh, what a goal that is. What a goal from Oscar. Bob, Bob, Bob. Oscar, Bob, Bob, Bob. That is how you do it. That is pure class from the Norwegian. Brilliant from Oscar Bob. That's what he can do. He dribbles it, it's brilliant. He just shifts it onto his left arm and just, just taps it into the bottom left corner. Absolutely stunning finish from Oscar Bob. Great, great control from the young lad. Brilliant goal. 2 0 City. Come on! Got a win here, Red Star. Ball across the box. Is this their goal? They've hit the post. Woo! Got away with one. Oh, for God's sake, they've scored and they got themselves back in it. These ones are loving it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They've been waiting for this, haven't they? Flipping it. Well, it's in blank with the goal. I mean, we've been punished. We, we just are not holding the ball well in midfield. And ultimately, we've been dispossessed and we've been punished. Great finish from Wang. And that goal's been coming from Red Star Belgrade. They've had really good chances and uh, they've made us pay. They might make us pay again here. There's so many players going off in the ultra section. That's the goal that they've been waiting for. And that's the goal they've got. A little bit lacklustre from City. We need another goal. I did say 2 1. So, yeah. 12 minutes and I'm right, but we need another goal. Somebody has woke these guys up all of a sudden. Yes, the ultras are loud, but now they are extremely loud. And Red Star are going for this. Two more subs coming on. That's all five changes for Belgrade. They're going for us here. They want that equaliser. We've got to be disciplined here. No silly mistakes in that midfield, mainly. It's a chance for City. Oh, it's a chance it was. It's smashed over. Chance for Foden. It's not looking good here. Belgrade on the left hand side again, where they've been getting the most joy. Rico Lewis pushed to the floor. Oh, it's fell over his feet. Nunes has picked up a knob, but Bernardo's coming on just to shore things up for the final eight minutes. Great game, Nunes, today. Very impressed with his performance. That's the city. Hamilton trying to go through. Two goes down. Penalty. Yes! There's been a bit of a debate who's going to be having this penalty. John Stones ran out. Phil Bona got the ball this time. Bernardo Silva's wanted it. And in the end, it's going to be Calvin Phillips to step up and hopefully secure this Champions League victory here in Belgrade. Let's hope that this goes in the back of the net. Come on, Calvin! Couldn't think of a worse venue to take your first City penalty, but come on, Calvin, I'm behind you. Phillips scores this, it's over, and we win in Belgrade, and we go perfect in the Champions League group stage. Big pressure on him. And he scores! Come on! Yes! Set, 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 set! Well, he needed that. 
sitting in as that, and it's 3 1. Great, great penalty. Off your bottle, Carlin Phillips. How about that? What a penalty to win this game here in Belgrade, and that is the point. That is the perfection in the Champions League group stage for the first time in club history. Calvin. Perfect. Boom! You saw me standing alone without a dream in my heart. Without the love of my own You scored again And these boys are loving it again It's a header from a corner And we've got added time to hold on here But we're in for a bit of a finale Red Star Belgrade have pulled two goals Out of uh, out of nowhere really It's a set piece, it's a good header uh, City a little bit static And uh, it's in And uh, Red Star have got themselves back in the game And the fireworks go off And the Serbians are back in it again With added time to play Come on City, you better hang on, do not do this, here come the booze, when City have the ball, they fancy themselves on getting a goal here, oh it's kicking off over the other side, got City playing, oh my days, City playing down, fireworks going off here, scenes here in Serbia. Well one minute to go, in come a Hail Mary from Red Star Belgrade as this is their last kick of Champions League football this season, so they're going to go for it, so we just need to stay strong, stay compact and get this W. From Oscar Bob to get to Bernardo Silva, that's a lovely ball. Bit of a lose first touch from Hamilton. That's, that could, could be another penalty, to be honest. I think Foden's unlucky not to see that blow from the referee. And it is a Hail Mary. It's a race, and Nathan Ake is going to win it. And that is absolutely fantastic composure by the Dutchman. Brilliant. There we go. City hold on to win in Belgrade. And first time ever in club history to go perfect in a Champions League group stage. Six wins out of six, 18 points out of 18 points. Fantastic. Well, we're behind every single one of you. What a performance from some of the lads tonight. Absolutely, game. Absolutely everything. Some brilliant, brilliant performances from the City players today. An unfamiliar starting 11 from this man here. But the same results. A big fat W. City, City. Take it. Champions again, champions again, Perfect Champions League group stage, that is how to do it. We are City, that is how the champions of Europe go about their business. A perfect group stage, six wins out of six, 18 points out of 18 points, sailing through to the knockouts with absolutely no worries whatsoever. And a win away at Red Star Belgrade to top it all off. Belgrade battled, but City's youth came through. Goal from Mika Hamilton uh, to start things off. A brilliant second from Oscar Bob. Yes, Belgrade got themselves back into it, but then a Calvin Phillips penalty. Surely secured it until the 90th minute where Belgrade headed in another corner, but it was too little too late. A 3-2 victory for the mighty boys in blue and that's how we march on to the round of 16. 6-6. Six six. We've done it. I, I've never thought we'd go perfect in a group. Usually we always drop the game and tonight having a look in the team, uh, it was a little bit weaker than normal, but I tell you what, every single player, I'm not sure what happened with Grealish, Maybe you got a bit of a knock or just didn't play too well. Really stepped up today, especially in that midfield. It was really impressive, Nunes. Kovacic is okay, gave the ball away a little bit too much for me. And I tell you what, Calvin Phillips had a fantastic game and it's great to see him on the score sheet as well. Big credit to Hamilton and Oscar Bob. The youth for tomorrow, both getting on the score sheet and both showing real potential to be great players at this magnificent club. City, get the win and a perfect. Calvin Phillips as well, great penalty from him. Hopefully he doesn't go in January, I want him to stay. He's a good player, he deserves more game time. The Belgrade Ultras still sing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to smash the like, hit that big red subscribe button for many more footballing adventures. Six and six and a perfection night. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, what an away day this is. You've got to get it on your bucket list, guys. And I've seen City win here. Let's go.